The Rock stole Roman Reigns spotlight why Bray Wyatt wasn't added in the WWE Hall of Fame 2024. Logan Paul dodges boxing over wrestling. John Laurinaitis is given a deadline to respond to the Janel Grant lawsuit. Vince McMahon's era of double standards is back after The Rock's return. LA Knight attacks The Rock for his WWE return. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Let's dive right in. Why Bray Wyatt wasn't added in the WWE Hall of Fame 2024. The wrestling community has been vocal about their desire to honor Bray Wyatt with a Hall of Fame induction. His legacy as a former WWE champion is undisputed and his impact is deeply felt. The revelation that his induction has been postponed sheds light on WWE's plans to celebrate his life and career. The forthcoming documentary, Bray Wyatt, Becoming Immortal, is set to debut on Peacock, sparking excitement and respect for the homage. The absence of Bray Wyatt from this year's Hall of Fame announcement stirred conversations among fans. Wrestling journalist Dave Meltzer pointed out that the decision is linked to the release of the documentary, hinting at a future induction. I was told this had something to do with the decision not to induct Wyatt into the Hall of Fame this year, that this year they were doing the big documentary for him and would induct him later. The influence of Bray Wyatt on wrestling is indelible, and his memory will be treasured by his family and fans alike. His contributions will continue to be celebrated and his induction into the Hall of Fame is anticipated in the future. Share your thoughts on Bray Wyatt's posthumous recognition in the comments below. Next up, Logan Paul dodges boxing over wrestling. WWE's landscape has been transformed by a diverse array of talent, with Logan Paul emerging as a stand-up superstar. As the reigning United States champion, he's embraced a part-time role while captivating audiences with his performances. Fans are clamoring for more appearances from this top-tier heel, whose popularity is undeniable. Prior to his wrestling career, Logan Paul gained fame in the boxing arena, a path also taken by his brother, Jake Paul, who remains focused on his boxing pursuits. On a recent Impulsive podcast episode, Logan Paul addressed his future in boxing, affirming his commitment to wrestling. I retired. I'm a wrestler now, as you can see, United States champion. Logan Paul declared, confirming his dedication to wrestling over boxing. Yeah, you know why I am better at it than I am at boxing, and Jake's doing so well at boxing. The stage is set for WrestleMania XL, where Logan Paul will defend his title against Randy Orton and Kevin Owens in a high-stakes triple threat match. Success in this bout could elevate his status within WWE. Fans eagerly anticipate potential matchups, particularly John Laurinaitis given a deadline to respond the Janel Grant lawsuit. The wrestling world is currently grappling with serious allegations against Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis. These claims have cast a shadow over WWE raising questions about its leadership and ethical practices. The company's response to these allegations will be crucial in shaping public perception. In light of the lawsuit, WWE may need to take transparent and decisive steps to address the situation. This could include conducting an independent investigation, reinforcing ethical guidelines, and ensuring accountability at all levels. Such measures could help WWE navigate through this challenging period and maintain its reputation among fans and stakeholders. The outcome of the legal proceedings will also play a significant role in determining the future course of action for WWE. As the situation unfolds, the wrestling community will be watching closely to see how WWE handles these serious accusations. Share your views on this matter in the comments section. Speaking of the lawsuit, WWE doesn't have anyone supporting Vince McMahon anymore. The wrestling community is reeling from the grave allegations leveled against Vince McMahon. These accusations have not only tarnished his image, but also led to a noticeable change in the stance of his erstwhile defenders within WWE. The legal action initiated by Janel Grant has brought to light claims of misconduct that date back several years, prompting a reevaluation of McMahon's standing in the industry. Dave Meltzer's observations on Wrestling Observer Radio underscore the shifting dynamics, with previous allies now distancing themselves from McMahon. This sentiment was echoed by Jim Ross, who suggested it might be time to move past these allegations. The situation presents a complex challenge for WWE as it navigates the fallout of these serious claims against its former CEO and chairman. The company's response and the legal process will undoubtedly shape the narrative and the future of WWE's leadership. The wrestling community's reaction to these developments will be telling as they discuss the implications and share their perspectives on this unfolding story. On the topic of Vince McMahon, it was reported that WWE superstars feel like Vince McMahon's era of double standards is back after The Rock's return. The Rock's return to WWE has reignited the electrifying atmosphere of the 90s, 
blending his signature Hollywood flair with a bold, unfiltered approach. His social media presence, punctuated by candid language, has stirred the WWE universe and sparked discussions among the talent. The shift is palpable, with even Cody Rhodes delivering a raw, unscripted promo on Raw. Wrestling insider Dave Meltzer highlighted a sentiment among wrestlers that Vince McMahon's selective favoritism might be resurfacing. There's a sense that what was thought to be a bygone era of favoritism under Vince McMahon has resurfaced with The Rock's arrival. The network's strategy to handle The Rock's unscripted moments has also come to light. Further details were shared about an unexpectedly extended segment featuring The Rock on a recent SmackDown episode. This perception of inequality could linger, prompting discussions among fans and insiders alike. What's your take on The Wrestler's viewpoint since The Rock's comeback? Share your thoughts below. The Rock accused of stealing the final boss moniker. The Rock's recent portrayal as the final boss has stirred the wrestling world, merging his renowned Hollywood presence with a no-holds-barred attitude reminiscent of his wrestling heyday. His bold claims to the title have not gone unnoticed, especially as he gears up for a high-profile tag team match at WrestleMania Night 1 alongside Roman Reigns, facing off against Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. His verbal jabs have been relentless, especially during the revived Rock concert on SmackDown, where he took aim at Rhodes and his wrestling heritage. The wrestling community buzzed when Brad Gilmore on the Hall of Fame podcast highlighted Booker T that The Rock's new moniker might be stepping on familiar territory. Back in the day, a move like this would have had my phone ringing off the hook. But now, silence. It seems The Rock believes his boardroom seat gives him free reign. But we might just have to straighten things out. Booker T didn't shy away from suggesting a potential legal tussle over the issue, though he also hinted at a willingness to resolve it amicably. Might be time for a lawsuit, but hey, we can sort this out without going to court, you know what I mean. Let's have a chat. With The Rock scheduled to appear on the April 1st edition of Monday Night Raw, the wrestling world is abuzz with anticipation over whether he'll address Booker T's comments. What's your stance on The Rock's use of the final boss title without Booker T's nod? Drop your comments and join the conversation. LA Knight attacks The Rock for his WWE return. The Rock's much anticipated return to WWE has set the stage for an electrifying WrestleMania XL. LA Knight, a SmackDown talent often likened to The Rock, shared his candid perspective on the icon's comeback. The Rock, initially slated to face Roman Reigns, has instead of aligned with the bloodline, setting up a marquee tag team bout against Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes on the first night of WrestleMania 40. This marks The Rock's first in-ring appearance since his swift victory at WrestleMania 32 in 2016. There's value in having him back. We've been at the top of our game selling out arenas, his presence. It's a bonus whether it adds or detracts, that's up for debate. But make no mistake, business is booming, with or without him. The Rock's bold claim on SmackDown that he and the Bloodline have reignited wrestling's cool factor has been met with a differing opinion from LA Knight. Sure, wrestling's hit a new stride of cool, but let's get the timeline straight. It was already on the rise well before he stepped back in. He might enhance it, sure, of the resurgence. That started months ago without him. The conversation continues to stir among fans and wrestlers alike as they anticipate The Rock's performance at the Grand Spectacle. What are your thoughts on The Rock's influence on the current vibe of pro wrestling? Join the discussion in the comments below. And lastly, The Rock stole Roman Reigns' spotlight. In the unfolding drama of the Bloodline saga, The Rock's involvement has seemingly shifted the focus away from Roman Reigns. As the narrative builds towards WrestleMania XL, Reigns is poised for a pivotal confrontation with Cody Rhodes on SmackDown. This encounter is crucial for Reigns to reclaim his prominence and assert his dominance as the tribal chief. Despite The Rock's recognition of Reigns' title, his self-proclamation as the final boss has cast a shadow over Reigns. A decisive victory over Rhodes would send a clear message to The Rock and the WWE roster that Reigns is the ultimate authority. The Rock's presence has diverted attention from Reigns' bout with Rhodes to the tag team match at WrestleMania XL Night 1. A commanding performance against Rhodes is essential for Reigns to refocus the spotlight on their rivalry and the main event of WrestleMania X of Sunday. Advertised as his solo face-off, tonight's segment is Reigns' opportunity to demonstrate his capability to triumph on his own without the Bloodline's support. A formidable display of strength against Rhodes would solidify Reigns' position and redirect attention from The Rock back to himself. Stay tuned for more wrestling updates and don't forget to subscribe for the latest content. Catch you in the next video.